What's up guys, Slapu Blow here. Well, I wanted to do a little demonstration on how you guys could use uh, an end screen annotation at the end of your videos to publicize some of your other videos or your other work and stuff like that. So I'm gonna just show you, for instance, I'm gonna come into an older video I had did on crisis. You're gonna go to end screen annotations. You're gonna click that and in here, is you could do your old-fashioned annotations where you could add different things what's um, up guys Slap use Hello, existing annotation add annotation but we're going to deal nice. with end screen at the moment this is the newest style that just kind of came out so what you're going to do in here is you have a couple options first if you click view it'll show show grid snap to element snap to grid those are just helpful little tools but here is use template now here's your templates so it's either um it's going to be in the lower right it's going to have it like this. As you see, these are the different spots where your video will show and then your subscribe will show. So you're going to pick the area you want it, okay? I'm just going to leave it on default right now, but that you can do as you would like to. Now, import from video, I just kind of started doing it. So what happens is, is I've already done it on two videos. It'll let you import what you already had done on a prior video. And if you click it and click import, it'll import those to the screen. But let's get into this. Let's just say fresh. You go add element. Yeah, you could do whatever you want. You could do another channel, a link. I'm going to do create. And you can go to your most recent upload, best for viewer, or choose a video or playlist. So I'm going to go click that. And if you see here, here comes my video. So we're going to just click this one here, my new Dell S2817Q. Create element. You're going to click that. And when you click it, you see it pops it right there. So then you can drag it to where you want to go with it. I'm going to put it up here on the top right. All right. You can do up to four and I'll explain the timeline in a second. I'm going to click add element again. I'm going to click create and I'm going to um, do another one and I'm going to choose just for fun. We'll click the do one create element. Now you see it pops it over there and I could leave it there or I could put it over here. If you see if it turns red, see how it turns red? That means you're overlapping. You can't do that. So just come under it. Now you see it's clear, bad good so you're gonna go over here for fun i'm gonna add two there and if you see it's only the last 20 seconds of a video is where you could actually add it now what you could do is you could drag the timeline back like this so then it would start at 354 and end at 410 you see this is your timeline this is your time in the video three minutes and 45 seconds in i could stretch it back out again and then now it's maxed out now what you could do is for fun is let's just say you want to do it for 10 seconds each one drag it to four right there all right and i'll drag this one till four if i can get this to go and now they're there at that point so they're both at four minutes these are going to pop up the boxes let's have a little fun and add two more elements i'm going to click add element i'm going to click a subscribe one there it is right there now i'm going to leave it right on top actually you know what we'll leave it over here for now all right, I'm going to add a sloppy, but we're going to drag it out left back to the maximum amount of time. See, end screen elements can only play the last 20 seconds. Now, just to show you, now I'm going to leave it right here, actually right there, and I'm going to drag the slider back, and it's going to end right before the other one starts. So, all right, that's fine now. You see, it's going to end... It's going to start here, end here, 0.1 second, and then the next two are going to go on. As you see, now it's okay. All right, I'm going to click Add Element. I'm going to click Create, and I'm going to pick, uh, I'll let it best for viewer. It's going to choose for me. All right, and then I'm going to go over here. You see it's red. That means it's not good. No good. It's going to conflict, but now I'm going to drag it back. Okay. And then this is where it ends. This is the end points, okay? So it's going to end at 410. Now, we know these videos up here start exactly at four minutes. So we're going to drag this one back to just right before those start. Now it's clear, okay? So now these two will start right here, okay? And they're going to end right before the next two start. So that's why you have no red boxes. So these two end, these two start, and then... So these are going to go for about 9, almost 10 seconds, and then these are going to go for 10 seconds. Now let's show you a preview of what it's going to look like. I can never get bored of certain games and certain aspects of the games that they have. But anyway, see, guys, there that's is it. The it's the hitch right button. there, as you see the FPS There's drop. The video. Now watch, these with two are going to end, these two are going to start. gives you a hitch, matter right what the hell now, kind of now, now those kick in. How but cool is that? That's it, my friends. All right, so that's a demonstration of end screen, how to use it, any questions, ask me. But it's pretty self-explanatory and stuff like that. And you can have a really good time 
time getting people to check out some of your other work, my friends? 